Hey guys, I'd like to welcome you to the first in the series of tutorials I'm going to be doing on um, making a word processor in Java. So this will be multiple tutorials. It will not be one. It won't be long, one long one. It will be multiple um, fairly sized tutorials. So um, I have shown what it will ultimately look like. I'll put an annotation right over this window so you can get that video. Um, but we're going to make a very simple word processor and it's going to be good because we're going to be um, using all the stuff we've learned. So without a further ado, let's get started. You'll notice that I have created actually a new project down here um, and I have created my main class as usual. You should remember how to do that. So once you've done that, let's go inside of it and let's start coding. So the first thing we're going to do is, of course, make our public static void main method. So the main method, of course, and we're going to put in string args, just like every single main method we have. Inside there, we're going to declare jframe. Oops. Call it frame and set it equal to new jframe. And let's name it. Let's name it uh, word processor. So if you don't know what a word processor is, um, for example, Microsoft Word is a word processor. Um, Pages on the Mac is a word processor. Um, text edit on a Mac is a word processor. They get simple and complex. So that's kind of what it is. Um, anyway, back on track. It is producing an error, and that's because we have an imported JFrame. So just hover up over it and click Import JFrame, and it will import it for us. So this frame will be our main frame. It will display all the buttons, uh, the view, all that jazz. So this is pretty much what it is, and we will only have one frame. Then we're going to set the default close operation. So we do frame dot set default close operation, and we set it to j frame dot eggs. Okay, exit on close. It's auto-completing for me. So what this means is when we click the little red button at the top right corner, it will close. Then let's do frame dot get content uh, get content pane dot add new display. There we go. So what this means is we are um, what this pretty much means for the uh, computer is saying, hey, I have actually a class built for this frame, um, and this class is called display. So I want you to get display's GUI for me and display it. So that's literally all it means. Now, the reason it's returning an error is because we haven't created the class yet. If you notice down here, there's nothing there. So that's the only reason it's creating error. We'll take care of that later. So let's do frame dot pack. Okay, and that pretty much packs the frame all together, gets it ready to go. Yeah, just it says it in that description. Um, and then we are going to set the frame visible. So that means you can see it, of course. So let's do frame dot set. I hate the autocomplete, it's very slow for me. Set visible and we'll set it to true. So now we can see our frame. So let's take care of this little error right here. We can do that by simply going to our default package, right clicking it, hovering over new, class, and selecting our display class. So let's name it display with an uppercase D. And there we go. So you'll notice that outside of the main default package, it also creates a little package next to it. You can ignore that. I have no idea why it does that, but I'm just going to leave it. Um, yeah, so whatever. When we have this display class, we need to make it extend jpanel just like we do whenever we use swing. So to do that, we type extends jpanel. And of course, we have to hover over it and click import. So the reason we're doing that, I've explained before, but I will be happy to explain it again, is because if we don't extend a jpanel, we will not be able to draw anything on the screen. Nothing will appear. We also want to implement action listener. So if I press a button or something like that, 
it will react and I can do something with it. So I can type implements action listener and import it. All right. And of course, so the reason it's returning that is because we need to add the action listener method, which I will do later. But for now, that is enough and I will see you in the next tutorial.